talk to you about the real scoop about magma. So magma is molten rock, and if it's still inside the Earth, it is called magma. Once it enters, uh, once it leaves Earth through a volcano or subduction plate, then once we see it, we call it lava. So magma is inside Earth. Once it's outside of the Earth, it's called lava. So it used to be back in the day we, we learned in school was that the Earth's crust was solid and that the mantle might have been liquid and you got this impression that the, you know, this underneath the Earth was made out of liquid and this could shoot up at any time. That, that's not quite exactly how it works. Kind of close, but not exactly. So the mantle we had learned is solid. It, it's not liquid, it is solid. It does, though, manage to flow. It moves around like silly putty would. If you took a hunk of silly putty, made a ball out of silly putty and put it on a table, after a while it would just start to spread out. And that's the same quality that the mantle has. It flows like silly putty. But again, we're talking on a time scale of millions of years for the mantle to flow much. It takes a long, long time. So places where magma happens um, aren't all around the mantle. They might be in just a certain, loca certain locations around the planet. So one location is called a hot spot. And this occurs because perhaps of just increased convection in one portion of the Earth's mantle, asthenosphere and so forth, just happens to radiate an excess amount of heat. So that excess amount of heat causes a hot spot in the Earth's crust, and that will melt rock and cause islands to happen. Um, they're typically not located at the edge of tectonic plates. They might just be in the in middle of tectonic plates. For example, the Hawaiian Islands. They, they're not located at the edge of a tectonic plate. They're right in the middle of the Pacific plate. However, they're volcanic and they're still active. So those are examples of just a, a simply a hot spot within the Earth's interior causing that rock to melt. Another place that we have melting rock or magma is the continental crust subducting under an ocean plate. Again, subduction, we have the ocean plate going up underneath the continental plate. And around that area, in that subduction zone, there's a release actually of pressure which frees the rock there to become liquid. There's a lot of heat there and, and the release of pressure lets the rock become liquid. So two places, hot spots in the Earth's crust, kind of few and far between in the middle of plates, then on the edge of plates we have a rock being able to melt because of a release of pressure. So the three things that make rock melt, one is temperature. If you raise the temperature of anything, eventually it will melt. And rock is no different. If you raise its temperature enough, it certainly will melt. Pressure decreasing. As we said before, with an example of the subducting plates, um, the, the decrease of pressure will allow the rock to melt under the temperature conditions of the plates coming together. Um, plates coming together is, is, is pretty hot area there, but as they come together, um, some pressure is released because there's an opening that will occur. That opening lets the rock melt. If something is under extreme pressure, it, the molecules are too tight together to melt. If you release that pressure under a high heat, then, then things will loosen up and be able to melt. So it's pressure decreasing that allows the rock to melt. Also water. Water helps free up rock crystals. And when water mixes with the rock crystals, it, it just allows them to move around a little more freely. So if the molecules, the crystals are moving around a little more freely, then the rock will take on a liquid quality. So here's an example of both things that I talked about. The Hawaiian Islands are located on a hot spot in, um, underneath the lithosphere. It just so happens that this just is a, a hot spot there are few and far between in the middle of a tectonic plate, the way Hawaii is, but that's the reason for this rock to melt. Just an increase of temperature, just by chance, a lot of convection, a lot of heat being able to build up and release, and the Hawaiian Islands is an example of a hot spot. Another is the release of pressure. 
or the mixing of water. So I have an oceanic plate and a continental plate colliding together. One plate is going to subduct over the other plate. This little area here is very hot because of some friction going on and so forth. However, there's an opening here off and on, and that opening allows the pressure to decrease and allows the rock to be able to move around and melt a bit with the heat. So, and we have water mixing in that is also going to help those crystals free themselves from the surrounding molecules and be able to take on more of a liquid quality. For more information, you could always email me at rose underscore wignall at abss.k12.nc.us.